Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. And yes, I know, I'm still wearing... Ooh, there we go. I'm still wearing my Halloween outfit. I don't know, I kind of like it. We might stick with it for a little bit. But we might go back to our original outfit, obviously, as well. But... We have some guy stuff to talk about. We are going to start a project that I am really excited about. And I think will be really nice for you guys to see on a series because on, this is unofficial. And a lot of you guys play official too. And we are going to be working on a project. So let me introduce you to Shot Collar here. This is a Shadow Man I put together with stats and colors that I had. It took me two weeks of about off-camera work to do um, and so I put him together and we'll take a look at his stats he's at 18,000 health 19 uh, 1900 melee now he is at his original birth melee is 819 which right now is not top uh, 1007 is currently top and we're gonna be getting into some stuff with this guy but first i want to show you some clips that we had a blast with with wicks and rex so this last one is uh uh zex now, can you then... breed these guys yep wait did you just ask if you could breed them after you hatched an egg <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Saving that clip right there. <laughs> Figuring out how to use them. I'm at your house, Rex. <gasps> oh, crap. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? Is oh. that a jellyfish? Oh, no, that's a... Never mind, that's a pillar. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. Keep going. <laughs> what happened, Wix? You, did you get confused with a land pillar <laughs> and a jellyfish? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to jump and see where I'm pointing at, guys. Let me get up there. Okay. There we are. Wow, are you actually getting up here, Rex? Oh, wow, you are. Nice. Yeah, I made it. Rex, oh, uh, Rex did a crazy jump thingy, dude. Where? Where'd Rex go? We'll wait for Rex. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump as far as we can. Oh, that's not a jump. Wanna kill him? That's not a jump either. No, I don't think they take fall damage. Which way are we going? Straight where I'm pointing. Oh my gosh, Becky. I'm making it almost Look all the way to the jump. river. Woo. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to make it in the river. No fall damage whatsoever. Oh, I'm on the other side of the river. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. Make oh my gosh, that's impressive. Yeah, these guys, they were like gliding across. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that was cool. Alpha Raptor. What? Here, let me roar. Because you need near me. Oh, I'll get over here. I don't know roar. where you're at. I'm going to try to kill this Alpha Raptor in one shot in a second, guys. Just come up with me. And we'll see, see how it goes. All right. Oh, frames. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. my God. Cool. And I got 20 off of them and a Mastercraft. These guys are just insane. Help. Where are you at? What's attacking me? Are you going to kill it today? Come here. What was it? A bug. 
<laughs> I thought like the Dodo Rex fun during the day, and she's having some sort of epic meltdown, and here it was a bug. Shut up. All right, so this, like I think I mentioned, is a guy we put together for a couple of weeks with just some stuff off camera. But every, all the work I'm going to be doing on these guys now is going to be on camera. But first off, let's get into what these guys are. Two people can ride these guys, which is nice. When these guys came out, let me be very clear about this. When these guys came out, I was not on the train that these guys were great. I knew they were good, but I didn't think they would be on, let's say, a level like a T-Rex or a... Uh, Giga, for example, or something really a spino or really powerful. They were good, but it is what it was. And this is post-nerf, by the way. So when we're talking about this, this is after they got nerfed. And we're going to be talking about how they're still really powerful. But anyway, you can still shoot off of them, right? You can, which is really handy. Um, and we're going to be going through all of this. There's a second rider you can have on, which is super helpful. And we're going to go over all the four icons really quick in case you are not aware of Shadow Mains. So if you hold, if you, with this guy, hit for me on PS4, you can hold it with pushing R3. Uh, you can actually go invisible. And if we weren't friendly, you wouldn't be able to see him. Um, like if you were an enemy, you wouldn't be actually able to see him. You could see his footprints, but that's it. And then if you hold this, we have a roar boost, kind of like a yacht. And it is really powerful and uh, um, definitely helps this guy in packs. He's almost unstoppable. As you've seen in the clip, we took a Titan down with three, with three of these guys. And these aren't even top stats. Um, the, this is a 819 burst stat. They're over already over a thousand, and when I did the math, these guys are going to end up at sixteen hundred and like thirteen. Is going to be crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and take the shot caller here outside. Also, they jump like crazy, and you're going to keep an eye on our stamina. This thing does not use almost any stamina. And there is almost too much stamina on this guy, which sounds crazy, but later we're going to want to get points on. There's a Titan there. You're lucky I'm not in the mood for murdering Mr. Titan, because I would take you out. All right, that being said, let's go over here. And they're incredible swimmers. They get a water buff if you see on the top right, like a spino. If I can get him in the water deep enough here, we could probably show you... How good of a swimmer he is. Um, get into deep water here. There we go. He's just so fast. Alright, so let's go over here. We're going to do our normal attack. Oh, and we're just going to normally get this bar charged up. When this bar gets charged up down here, you're going to see um, something really cool happen here. I'm going to show you. This is what makes these guys super powerful. All right, where is... All right, I think we hit this guy, so we're going to have to hit him again. Let's get this bar filled up. There we go. So now we have the bar, and I kind of call this an alt or a really powerful attack. I can't remember the actual name of it offhand, but you guys know how much a Paraceratherium has for health, right? Boom. And the bar refills when you kill something. Okay, so you're thinking Paraceratherium, that's really not that powerful. Well, a Diplo has a ton of health, and you can just see this is a high-level one, and we just wrecked it. I mean, almost one shot a 150, which is incredible because they have so much health. And let's go ahead. And that was like the first thing I haven't... You guys are ridiculous. You know, Pangos are always going to be the most annoying dinosaur in the game, I think. Itchy Ornus is a pretty annoying as well. Let's get this guy curled up in a ball, and I'm just going to show you. We're just going to go around and one-shot everybody with this, and you're just going to see. It doesn't even matter what it is. Oh, you want to die? Let's go. Boom. Oh, that's incredible, right? All right, let's go find a Bronto, because it was... Oh, we need to get this guy. 
Oh, I missed. So one, if you miss and you're not able to kill something, you got to recharge it up again. But that's okay. But anyway, Diplos, you can see the health that they have. That that thing, this thing just wrecked it. Um, all right, let's jump into base. Another nice thing is you never have to use Behemoth Gates again. You just jump over them. These guys are super, super usable. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you the other attack. Oh, that was a... I'm still not perfect with these guys yet, so keep that in mind. I'm working on the controls a little bit. But I played with them definitely enough now to know... So we're going to go ahead and do this right here, and, oop, did I not charge it up or is it lagging? Oh, it looks to be lagging here. Alright, there we go. There we go. You can stun dinos, and if there's a lot of them in the area, you can actually stun multiples at the same time. Let's see if we can get a couple stuns in here. Oop. Oh, I can't do it. Give me a second. It does have a little bit of a charge time. And boom. And like that. I did miss that one guy. But normally you can get more than one guy. You can get up to seven. And it stuns them so they can't move or run away. It is super handy, folks. So I have fallen in love with these, obviously, as you guys can see from the clips. And i got to get a little bit better with their jumping. But I am having a blast with these. I am on the Shadow Man train now. Especially now that one, we have one all the way to the color we exactly want to. Um, I think later on, because if we see on these colors, that he is not the normal... I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but I'm a big on the three in the blue color code. So three is the green, and blue is two. And so we're going to go inside, and we're going to look at some more stuff here. But anyway, we're starting the Shadow Main Project, guys. This guy is even top stats, and he's super powerful. And they're going to be at least twice as powerful is what they are currently, and I have a wicked screenshots to show you. First up is our Giga Demon Queen, and the second off is him hitting the trading dummy over there. Alright, so this project that we got going on on the Shadow Means is going to be a long-term project. This is not something we're doing in one episode or even five. Uh, we're going to be working on this for a while, and we're going to keep getting them better and better. So if you guys didn't know, um, this is a prime example. Let's go look at the Giga Eggs if you guys are new to breeding. On normal dinos, you can only get to level 450, and you can get 88 levels into a dinosaur. So you can see this 361 is the exact stats of that uh, Demon Queen right here. Where is she? Demon Queen is, and she's max level at 449. You can only get to 450, so 362 is the number to get on on the normal dinos, but Gen 1 and Gen 2 creatures, like a Shadow Main, can go up to 500. So eventually, we're going to want to save as many points as we can to stay under 500, and our number is going to be 412 for Hatch once the permanent deal comes out. So basically, we're trying to keep the levels low with keeping the melee health and stuff that we want high to be high, right? So... I have collected our best stats up here, guys. And uh, we are going to try to put them on one shadow main that is black and green here. So this is our breeders right now. These are our two males. Um, this is our main male breeder. He is the son of Shot Collar. And this is a project I want to bring you guys with on this journey. Um, as you can see on the uh, deal, and let's see, there's Ancestry, Shot Caller, and ID2. We'll show you ID2 here in a second. But how I am going to be naming these guys from on now until we're done is, so col C is going to be color. That means it's the color we want. For example, we want a black and green one and a black, blue, and green one. 
And uh, uh, so, or these are close to the color that we're going to eventually want. W is always going to be weight. S is a stamina stat. And once they get combined on one, we're all going to be, uh, you know, happy. They'll be, you know, eventually to be uh, all these stats on one is what we're trying for. This is melee food and weight. This has our lowest food here at 1800. So we want to keep our food low. Um, I'm trying to bring the stamina down to 810, as you guys can see here, because you guys saw clearly that guy doesn't use much stamina. So we're going to try to get that down. And also, this guy is our weight guy at 629. I accidentally imprinted this guy. Uh, I did not want to do that. And we do have a new melee stat, which is 937, but we do have another melee stat coming, um, so I'm not going to be too worried about that. We do have the 1007 coming with the new health, so I'm going to have to rename these guys because they don't have that. But as you can see, there's a weight one, there's color weight, color weight, color weight, and then over here is our stamina, and also they're named full two. Because these guys are the full blue, and we're going to use some of that color regions down there on our deal. So what is going to be happening, guys, is we're going to be trying to get some really good stats out of these. And we'll be working on them on camera a little bit. What I'm going to do is probably spend a couple minutes every time I breed them. And we're going to try to see if we get something cooler. As you can see downstairs, we have a new one on the other side of the stats. We have a M at WF, which is melee weight and food. So it's basically this guy, but he got one more stat. So every time we get something better, we're going to continue on with this. Like this guy here, let's say he gets uh, health on the next one. So he'll be CWSH. And we will work him into the system. Now, when it comes to breeding, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. And you can have a lot to go wrong before something actually goes right. So, for example, early on, it's going to be easier to gain a guy that's better. But later on, it's going to be tough, you know. So, we'll work on some of the things of what we're going to be doing on that front to help that out. Um, so, these guys are all pregnant. So I'm going to bring you guys back when these guys are getting ready to be done here. And we'll see if we get something pretty neat out of these guys. Okay, folks, the babies are waiting to hatch. And on the screen, I figured oh, I will do this to help anybody that wants to keep up with this. Keep up with this as the babies come out. But anyway, I am going to put the best stats on the screen right now. And this will help, too, to know what I'm naming them and why I'm naming them. Because I'll put the letter of what the uh, what stat we're using up there for. Also, too, these guys don't have oxygen, so we're not going to be using that stat. But uh, some of the stats, obviously, like food, we're not going to want food. We're going to want our own set stamina and weight. Because we don't need to have overly too much weight um, or anything like that. But... Uh, these are the stats I've chosen, and then eventually, uh, we're not going to do every melee stat that comes out for them. We're just going to do this one for now, and then when the best stats come out, we'll just put the best melee and health on these later on, guys. Uh, so hopefully that helps simplify that a little bit. And on the color front, I think we're going to stick with these colors. I love them a lot. I was thinking about possibly inverting them. Uh, to having the green on the bottom and that blue on the back. But I think we're just going to stick with these ones and maybe put that blue underneath. All right, so babies are here. We're going to just claim them and check stats. I like the fact that this guy is super low. Hey, will you let me in here? Also, Shadow Main Tails are uh, pretty much the most evil thing in Ark right now. Ooh, that's an interesting that it got that blue. Oh, we're going to take a look at that guy. So, ooh, we might have some we might have some progress here, guys. We're going to have to go down, and oh, that guy is super high. Um, and we have a couple minutes on these. 
So why don't we bring uh, these guys down? Oop, there's one right there. And claim you. And we're going to go ahead and bring you down. We're going to bring these guys down over here just so we can take a look at their stats here in a second. We got another minute before them pop up upstairs. And we're going to see if these are guys we're going to be giving away or keeping here. Um, so let's take a gander here. This is a got stamina and our decent melee for right now, but that's getting upgraded. So this is stamina, weight, melee. Stamina, weight, melee. What do we got on that guy? We have stamina, weight, and color. Oh, okay. So actually, um, that might be a good guy here. Let me see that again. Oh, he doesn't have the color, though. I'm going to stick with trying to keep that color. As soon as you lose track of that color, it's really hard to get it back. So I think we're just going to stay with that on that front. This guy is super low. He's got nothing that we want on him, I don't think. He didn't get the right stamina, right weight, right food. He doesn't have anything. This guy is... An exact carbon copy of what we have already. <laughs> that is exactly what shot color is right there. Alright, so let's take a look at this guy. So, oh, sorry about that, guys. Not everybody on the chat is in chat is great. But anyway, here we got a 810. And so this is a stamina weight guy in color. So that's basically the breeder we have up there. As you can see there, except for he's got, uh, he's a little higher. So we didn't get anywhere on that front. Also, they're don't, not falling, right? So let's go check and see if we got Lucky down here. Um, ooh, and it looks like, oh, okay, we may have made some progress over here. Look at that blue on him. Um... I hate to say this, but if we get, if he's the perfect color codes, oh, let's get under here and just not fight this anymore. If he's the perfect color codes, we may have to use this guy as if that's a male. And so, um, let's get back down here. I know he's low level, but he might be the perfect color that we want. And if that is the case, if he has the blue on the bottom, and he has not, uh, if he does have that blue on the bottom like that, we might be just straight using him now. Um, and I know that sounds crazy because that's going to be kind of a rework on our stats. But getting colors to me is more of a pain than getting stats on them. So this guy has weight and stamina. And not bad food, but not our best food. Hmm... You're probably not okay. Let's see here. You see, here, let's move this guy out of the way here. And you're going to see, guys, that it looks like we got the blue on that region that we were hoping to get it on that I was just talking about. And here, let's take the HUD off. You can clearly see the difference and how much better I think that two blue looks. And um, hopefully this is a male. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, HUD, sorry. It's a female. Ooh. Let's pot it because we might have... We might have the color regions that we want. If it's only... It looks like it is. So, but I want to just check. And... Yeah, it is actually. Mmm... It does have the stamina, too. Uh, we may be starting this as our breeding color, to be honest with you. I think that's going to be our perfect color right here. So let's bring her over. She's going to live. So we're just going to name her CS because she's our new color one. And we're going to take the Cs off to all the other ones that were pretty good color, but... Uh, this is what we're going to have for color now. This is definitely going to be it. I love that. I'm a black, blue, and green fan all the way. Let's take a look at these other ones. Maybe we have a good male in this group. Let's take a look here. So, 
eight times of stamina. Uh, that's all I got. And uh, let's see. Uh, it just got the weight. Okay, so these guys, we're going to go ahead and bring out here. Um, we are going to call this our Death Garden of Justice out here. Let's get all these guys following. Sadly, none of them are going to last. Um, we do actually really quick need to put some food in the Maywing. Oh, there is food in the Maywing, I do believe, actually. Uh, Nanny, do you have some food? Just to get us by for right now, you do. So let's turn on the trough, and we're going to get her going here, folks. However, these guys, you guys are cool looking, and I love you all, but... Wait, did I accidentally whistle? Nope, we got the right one. I'm an idiot. All right, these guys are out to die. So this is the beginning of the breeding process. We're going to have to figure out what we're doing on that color front, guys. But I am really happy with getting this project started. And I'll probably give you a slow, a, light, a slight update every episode that we got. Or every episode that I'm able to breed them on. Because sometimes I record a couple times in one day. So I might only be able to breed them once. So anyway, these guys are out to die. We'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great day, folks.